hello friend welcome back in this video i want to discuss about that route so here how can create some of the route i will show you that things with a live example for creating this route there is option for the route folder into the route that is our web.php and with the web.php here you can see friend that is one of the route and there is a get method as i told you friend when you get some of the data then you have to use that get method and then if you want to insert some of the data then you have to use that post method right and with the after that that is our home so that is the in laravel when you use that slash and slash means that is our home direct that means right now if you go our project so into the project you can see that is our home directory okay friends so that is our home directory so in laravel if you want to access that home directory that will be as a this slash okay and then the function and the function after that that is a return one of the view page so that is the view and there have the or view on the page so right now that is the view page as a welcome that means right now if you go to our resources into the resources here you can see that is almost all of the folder as a views so as i told you friend all that views related file that means views file means that is our view file who is actually visible for the user so that is our view page okay so that is the view page into the view folder and here you can see that is the welcome and then blade.php so in laravel that is actually using one of the blade syntax so that is the blade syntax if you want to create it that will be as a blade.php so if you use that uh, Django, so into the Django that have the another file extension, the file extension name as a dot files, but in Laravel it, that is our extension as a blade.php. So literally I will also show you how that blade.php that means the blade syntax work. So right now that is our file name, our file name as a welcome and here you can see that is the welcome. So now if you open that our welcome so that means in our what exactly is happening like that is the our welcome view page is now visible in our particular that area right friend so that is our home directory right i show you like if you now select all and if you now remove it everything click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see friend it's now totally blank right so that is the main view file actually works so right now i click as a control z and now if you go to our view so now i hope it's very much clear to you so into the gate that is our home directory into the home directory there is a function and it's now returned one of the view page and that is our welcome page that means that is our view and that is our welcome right so that is our view page so here whatever the things you want to change you can change it from here there is our titles you can see the laravel and this title is visible like i show you i click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see that is our laravel so here if you want don't want to display it like that is our style there is by default one of the file when you install that laravel project we get this type of one of the file as a welcome and that is our body and that's for our authentication so when you i uh, discuss about that authentication i will discuss about that things with you and then that is our path okay so this portion actually work for our maybe this logo so right now i want to check it i like that is our path so now i want to do and to actually remove this path that is by default so that is our g and then that is our path d so i remove it and there is our g i remove it okay and also you don't need this svg i remove it now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see it's now gone so here i want to put some of the text so after this dev after this step here i want to add one of the h1 tag better i want to add one of the h1 sorry i want to add one of the h1 tag and then here I want to finish it that is our h1 tag I finish it and here I want to do and to load um, like here I name it as a home page okay I name it as a home page so that will be better so this will be as a home page now click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see friend it's now display as a home page so now if you want to create some of the route like i show you if you want to create some of the route as in our web.php that means in our routes in our web.php here we have to create so better i copy it and now i paste it and here i want to create another route as about 
so that will be as a about that means our home and after that home i want to access one of the route name as a about and for this here right now i didn't create any view page i will do the things later so right now i want to check it if you want to check it i want to check it with the echo echo and here i name it as a this is um about page so that means this will be displayed this type of one of the um, string value as a this is about page so right now if you want to access it like i want to access this about now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh your project and after that i want to do want to access our slash that means our home and then about click as a enter yes here you can see friend it's now display as a this is about page right so that is our page as a this is about page so that is our string value is now successfully display so here i have displayed okay and also if you want to create another one I want to create another one as a it should be one of the route i name it as a contact so i name it as a contact and for this contact it should be functions right now it should be display some of the echo string value as a this is contact page okay this is contact page so this type of one of the pages should be display i copy it and now if you click as a save all and now if you want to access as a contact and if you click as a enter yes you can see friend it's now showing as a this is contact page so that is our route right so i have created two of this route one is uh, as a about another is a contact so if you don't want to use that slash you can also remove it like i show you if you remove it then also it should be work i show you because a save all and now if you want to access this route as a about so now i want to do and to access it about click as the enter you can see it's now perfectly loaded our this same result as a this is about page so right now here i'm loading one of the string value right so here if you want to load one of the page as like our home page like if you open it so that is our home page right so if you want to load this type of one of the page that means one of the view page how can load it so for doing this we have to do we have to create one of the page that means into the resource and to the resources that is a view here i want to do i want to create one of the new page i click as a new file and i just name it as a about okay about dot a blade dot php so make that sure you add that as a blade syntax as a blade dot php our file name as a about so now i want to do i want to create this file click as a enter so i have created one of the file as a about blade so for education purpose i want to do i want to copy everything i copy everything from our welcome i copy it and here i paste it okay so now i want to do i want to update it like here that is our title i want to update the title it should be as a about so that will be one of the view page so for education purpose i'm using it literally you will create a lot of the page so don't worry so that is our about home page so before i use that home page so now i want to use that as a about as a about page right so now if you want to load this page that means if you want to load this about page here we have to do we have to create one of the url right so that means we have to create that route if you go to our route area so that is our route so now if you want to access this about so here a better better practice to use that slash so i use that slash and then our about and i want to do want to load that is a function in the before i have a pass as a one of the echo with this echo i want to pass some of the string value so right now i want to do and to return some of the value that means return some of the page so if you want to return it that is a return so return and then i want to pass on the view and our view page i have created as a about right so here into the views i have created on the page as a about so now uh, it should be redacted that means it should be returned our view that means into the view area it should be redacted to our this about page so that is our about page so into the about page i have already updated our h1 tag as a about dot that means the about page right friend so now it should be loaded now i copy it and now i want to do i want to click as a save all and now here if you refresh it again and after that i want to do I want to access our this about now click as a enter yes you can see friend our title is successfully updated and also our h1 tag is updated and also if you want to create another one you can also create it like here there is our contact so before i have passed some of the um, string values so right now i want to do and to change it so better i copy it and here i paste it so it should be as a contact 
contact and into the function I want to return on the view contact sorry I want to create as a contact contact so that is the view contact so this contact page I didn't create it right so here I have to do I have to create it in our view that means that is our contact into the view area I have create new file as a contact and after that our blade extension there's a blade dot php okay so i have created one of the new file as a contact so right now everything i copy from our about i copy everything and i in our contact dot blade I here i paste it so i want to do i want to update only our title as a contact okay i name it as a contact and also i want to update our h1 tag that means here uh, that is actually our h1 tag so here i want to update our contact page now if you click as a save all now if you refresh it and now if you want to access our contact page so for the contact i have already created one of the route our route name as a contact so it will be written on the view page as a contact right so now i copy it and now here if you paste it and now if you click as a enter yeah you can see it's now perfectly loaded our contact page that means our contact view page that is our contact page and that is our contact i hope it's very much clear to you friend so friend as i told you i take you you don't have any idea about that laravel okay for the reasons i'm actually started that from very basic all that fun, fun functionalities so that is very basic all that functionalities so if you don't have any idea about that laravel don't worry after end of this course you will be become very expert with the laravel and here you can see i'm using the return view the contact i'm using the return view the about and the welcome that means all that our file here i didn't add our any extension so in php what exactly we did in php we did this type of work as a contact.php right and about.php so this type of one of the extension we have to add but in laravel we don't need to add it so that is the very much supporting things with this blade uh, syntax so the, in our next video i want to share little idea about that blade syntax okay so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video